going to look at patients' uh, tear breakup time. Now there are several ways that you can measure tear breakup time. One is to do an invasive tear breakup time and the problem with that is you, that you use fluorescein. If you put a lot of fluorescein in then you will find that the tear film will become unstable and so there are special florets which are very tiny with a narrow neck to reduce the amount of fluorescein that you put in. Um, I personally would prefer to do a non-invasive breakup time. Then I haven't got to worry about the amount of fluorescein and also some patients that are very dry just will not fluoresce and you end up having to put saline in to get any fluorescence which obviously defeats the object of the test. Um, so let's have a look at some non-invasive breakup times. A very old-fashioned method to look at the non-invasive breakup time would be to use a keratoscope and shine a grid pattern on the patient and then you get the patient to blink and you watch until the Mars distort. You can do this on a keratometer and what you need to do it is a stopwatch. So you can use a stopwatch, get the patient to blink once and stare as long as they can and then when the Mars distort you stop. So what you actually do is you get the keratometer Mars in focus and get the patient to blink once and then you start your stopwatch and then when the Mars distort you stop it. If you put the patient onto the video keratoscope, you can get the little circular rings in sharp focus, and then you get the patient to blink once, and then you start your stopwatch, and then when the, Maya, the circles degrade, you know your tear film's breaking up, and you can stop the stopwatch and you've got your breakup time. What you've got on a modern keratoscope is you've got these Myers and you can see them very clearly. And when the patient blinks, if you blink, you can see the surface and the oil flowing over the surface of the lens, uh, of the uh, cornea. So all you've got to do is blink once, okay, and then start the stopwatch. And then when you see those Myers distort, like now, they're going all grainy. Okay, that's 12 seconds. Okay, so blink for me and stare as long as you possibly can and try not to blink. And what we're trying to do is to measure when those gratings, those myers, distort. There we go. Now the patient had to blink then because the tear film had broken.